I just saw a picture of you in a bikini yeah. in Jamaica. Yeah. Your body is so beautiful. You are very kind. No, I really, I was like, you are, it was a thirst trap photo if it I've was, ever seen I one. I think it was beyond a thirst trap. It was, it, it was, was, I it made was. me think inappropriate <laughs> thoughts. I, but, but I was like, well, you know what? If you look that good in a bikini, yes, Listen. you're like in a full water setting. Angles and lighting. Did you see the video of me trying to make the video? No. Of me, me, okay, there's a video of me trying to take that picture because I usually do these first dip videos where I like dive in the pool and like I have the little selfie camera set up and I'm like, oh, this is me getting in the water for the first time. I got in the water in the lagoon and I thought something was gonna eat me and I literally was like a horror film. Yeah. I thought this was gonna be like the last video of the phone like left on the side of the thing and like I've been taken away by some sort of creature from the lagoon. One minute it's do it for the gram, the next minute it's, it's Piranha 3D. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> At least they'll know what happened to me because I'm filming it. My feeling is, especially having turned 50, I'm like document it, like let me see it. Especially because a friend of mine said to me, your body now in 10 years you're gonna wish you had. Yeah. And that's what you're gonna keep doing, right? I'm gonna be I'm gonna be 48 this year. Bravo. I'm excited to get to any form of liberation as far as not overthinking and worrying and I don't know. I don't know if I do that a lot. Well so do I. But really? I don't know if those things will ever go away for me, but my relationship to them has changed. That is perfect. That's enough. Because I, I, I feel like my wiring is my wiring is my wiring. Um, and some of it, and that's okay, but now I have enough of a relationship with myself to go, oh, you're doing it again. And then how do you calm it in the moment? Many, many things. I have lots of tools, a toolbox. Like, Call the right people, therapy. Yep. Um, I, you know, they say your first thought you can't help, but your second one you can. But I know to pause. Um, Halt, hungry, angry, hungry, angry, lonely, tired. Mm -hmm. My favorite, because the big one for me is justify, argue, defend, explain. Jade, that's what starts to change at this age. Justify, argue, defend, or explain. I get stuck in justifying, arguing, defending, and explaining myself so much. Okay, that's the one I'm the most stuck in. Yeah. God, this is this is like therapy. I turn to therapy a lot. Mm -hmm. um, I also turn to my girlfriends a yes, lot. I have a load of those. Is it true that you have like an old fashioned landline or some bat line or some apparatus of some sorts that is like 24 seven on available for girlfriends? Um, no, but um, we have a text thread that is called Keanu Forever. <laughs> <laughs> for Keanu Reeves? Yeah. Okay, how we're did all, that start? We're what all, is in, that this, we're all in the same age range. And we grew up on Keanu. I mean, come on, it's Keanu. So I was in the air, in an elevator with him. And when he got on the elevator, I was like, oh my God, this is, I'm going to, I'm about to get married. <laughs> I was like, oh my God. And I was like, okay, well, I could say hi, or I could just wait for him to say hello. And then I was going back and forth. And then the doors opened and he walked out. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened. No! I didn't even say hi. I didn't even say, hello, I love you. Um, I love you forever. Um, my name is Tracy. I would like to have babies with you. I mean, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't say anything. My Nothing. best friend's and I's text chain is named after no, you. No, it happened after that because I couldn't get in the car fast enough because we had been sending memes of him. And then shortly thereafter, it, it changed, yeah. Okay, I was lucky enough to ride the Concorde once. Me too. And tell me about your Concorde experience because yes. it has the most wonderful story okay. attached so, to it. So, for my 18th birthday, I had on my walls all of the supermodels plastered everywhere. Me too. I was obsessed with Linda, Cindy, Naomi, Christy, just across the board. And my mom was asked by Terry Mugler, who's 91, to walk in his show, The Butterfly Show, one of his most famous shows. And she said, Yes, as long as my daughter can go with me. So we, my mom and I, flew on the Concorde from New York to Paris. We were on the plane with Naomi, Linda, Cindy, Christy, all on the plane. So um, we flew on the Concorde. I walked in the Terry Mugler fashion, fashion show. And then um, I was shot by um, Brazilian Vogue. And it's been downhill since. <laughs> my life has literally gone Yeah. I want to ask, actually, like, 
your mom, mm -hmm. do people get emotional when they talk about her? Because she was Some do. So, she, she is so meaningful. Yeah, I mean, she is, I like to say, an international treasure. <laughs> she is an international yeah, treasure. Yeah, she's a treasure. And um, I think the most magical thing about my mom is that she's an incredible mom. But from a career standpoint, she just broke so many barriers and really set an example for me as her child that anything is possible if you do the work. Do you like have the kind of relationship when you're with her? Like, do you like lie down in her bed? Do you sit in like pajamas and like eat <coughs> breakfast? Is she fabulous and like different? She's like just mom. She makes breakfast in the morning. No, my mom is such a mom.